Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. With the aging Soviet era BMPs and APCs in service with Indian Army, there is a need of a modern state of art infantry protected mobility vehicle. To meet this requirement, DRD and Tata has designed and developed wheeled armored platform or WAP for modern warfare keeping in mind the crew survivability protection against small arms mobility and protection against concealed explosives wap is a 24 ton platform which can carry 10 personnel and 2 crew members it is an 8 by 8 amphibious wheeled armored vehicle in which two four wheel drive operates together in order to provide maximum mobility the 8 by 8 wheel configuration is set on hydro pneumatic suspension utilizing double wishbone arrangement all wheels have run flat capability to allow the vehicle to move even after suffering punctures there are four axles the front axle is steerable which minimizes the turning radius of the vehicle wap is powered by cummins isx 600 engine which comes with a reliability rating of over 10 lakh kilometers it has operational range of 500 km on road and 250 km off road it has maximum speed of 100 km per hour on road and 10 km per hour in water the hydro jets in the rear of the vehicle helps in propulsion inside the water wap features combined integrated blast and ballistic protection system with a v-shaped hull that deflects the explosive effect of mine blasts the seats inside the vehicle features a suspended design with mine blast attenuation to protect soldiers from such explosions the armor of the vehicle is made up of appliqu and composites along with welded steels The armor is made up of appliqué and composites along with welded steels. Additional armor kit can be applied in heavy firing zones. The fuel tanks have been placed outside the troop compartment for additional safety. The hydraulically operated rear door ramp enables easy embarking and disembarking of the troops. The troops are also provided with two escape hatches above the crew compartment. The IPMV also features air conditioning and heating for improved crew comfort. Wap can be adapted for various roles such as wheeled APC, 30 mm infantry combat vehicle, 105 mm light tank, command post vehicle, ambulance, special purpose platform, 120 mm mortar carrier, CBR vehicle, etc. Different types of armaments and payloads such as A 30 mm turret can be integrated for APC role. It can also be integrated with a 7.62 mm or a 12.7 mm machine gun. We have seen two versions of WAP in actions with armed forces, which is IPMV non-amphibious version inducted by Army and WAP amphibious version inducted by CRPF. Nine quantities of IPMV has been ordered by Indian Army and six quantity by CRPF. The IPMV was inducted on 12th April 2022 by Indian Army and has been deployed at LAC facing China. On 19th August 2023, CRPF of Kashmir Sector Ops informed about the deployment of WAP at 110 Battalion in Pulwama. There are two noticeable differences between IPMV of Army and WAP of CRPF though both of them are derived from same platform. The CRPF's WAP variant unlike Army's IPMV has amphibious capabilities as it incorporates the water jets. This helps CRPF to navigate aquatic obstacles and help in preventing infiltration from swamps, lakes and lagoons. The CRPF's WAP features woodland camouflage while most of IPMV's inducted by Army features desert camouflage which is a typical use camouflage in all vehicles deployed along the LSE in Ladakh the CRPF wap also features a 7.62 mm remote control weapon station a new variant of wap or rather an improved variant of wap has recently broken the cover 
VRD of TRDO and Mahindra Defence has developed an advanced version of Wheeled Armour Platform which was showcased for the first time during Defence Expo being held in Pune from February 24 to 26. It is a second generation platform with highly modular design, better protection and multi-role capabilities. Compared to the earlier version with DRDO Tata WAP, this version is more compact, lighter and well protected. The vehicle features modular ballistic and blast protection which means it can be increased and decreased depending on the role. It provides a snag level 2 of blast as well as the ballistic protection. This vehicle is amphibious one with speed of 8 km per hour with hydro jets in water. It is also an 8x8 vehicle powered by a 600 horsepower engine and has automatic transmission. It has impressive power to weight ratio of 24 horsepower per ton. The maximum speed of vehicle is 95 km per hour on road and 35 km per hour off road. It has cruising range of 500 km on road and also features a 7.62 mm remote control weapon station. At present, the vehicle has been developed only for chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear that is CBRN role, but it can be used for various other roles such as infantry combat vehicle or an armored personal carrier APC. Its development, land and water mobility trials have been completed. Recently, the US Striker was a lot in news as its technology is being offered to India to manufacture the vehicle in India. However, if we compare Striker with VRD Mahindra CBRN, we found later to be much more capable and affordable. The Striker is also 8 by 8 vehicle, but it is powered by 350 horsepower engine and it is not amphibious. At the same time, VRD Mahindra CBRN is powered by 600 horsepower engine and is amphibious. If you look at the perspective of cost, the VRD Mahindra CBRN is much cheaper than Striker. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.